Subtube Tube. Welcome back to La Guido's Chop Shop. Second best gel blast channel on the tubes. And today we are finally building up the MK CNC V2 box that I got a little while back. Um, it's taken some time because uh, I've been waiting on parts to arrive. Uh, so I'm just going to run you through a few of the things that are going to go into this box. Um, first of which, some people may have noticed in um, the previous video that I made about tools, uh, there is a SHS DSG gear set in here. Now I'm doing this uh, not because I think it's a good idea. In fact, I, I don't really think it's a good idea. Um, I'm doing this because uh, a lot of people sort of want to see this sort of thing, but I'm also going to be showing you the perils of uh, what you are going to expect if you do attempt to do this sort of thing. Uh, DSG, for those who don't know, is uh, dual sector gear. You have, instead of just one set of teeth on the sector gear, you have two. Uh, so basically for every revolution of the sector gear, you fire twice. Um, sounds good in theory, but uh, it has its own little drawbacks. Anyway, uh, there's multiple ways to achieve faster fire rate and trigger response, and this is one of them. Um, either way, <laughs> this is what I'm doing here today. Uh, it's probably not going to be one video, this is probably going to take me some time uh, to go through all this. But, um, yeah, so as you see, we've got the standard MK V2 CNC box and it's got nothing in it. Uh, which is one of the reasons why it's taken me this long, because I literally had to buy every part to go in it. So even the, uh, um, the spring... Uh, guide that goes in the back there, uh, the bushes, I've bought two sets, two sets of SHS bushes, um, mainly because I wasn't 100% sure what's going to fit nicely in here, and um, so I've got two different sets. Uh, I also have a MOSFET to go in here, um, let me just grab that one. Alright, so I've got the Perrin V2 MOSFET going in there, and um, uh, the reason I'm using a MOSFET as opposed to a trigger switch is to do with this DSG gear. Um, because it fires twice per revolution, it has to have two cams on the gear here and um, you know how the reg regular trigger switch fires uh, it does so by knocking the trolley off the top of the trigger mechanism and uh, with a linkage there's a little linkage in there and not great at the best of times the mechanism so uh, when you split your cam in half into rather than having a cam you've got those two little all right so here I've got standard cam, you can see it's got a little cam on it, and here I've got the, uh, the dual sector, you see instead of having a cam it's got um, two pointy bits, kind of half cams, I guess makes sense, half, half gear, half cams. I believe that if you were to try and run a DSG uh, with the standard trigger, you would make it more difficult for yourself than it needs to be. Um, it's not impossible, but I think MOSFETs the way to go because the way these MOSFETs work, um, I've never opened this before, by the way. So I just have to open this MOSFET bag up. Okay. Um, so the way these work is they have a little optical sensor in here. And so the, the optical sensor actually senses the um, uh, teeth 
of the sector gear going through there and it runs your um, semi-automatic and automatic switching off of when it sees teeth and when it doesn't see teeth which is smart works better I think than than a mechanical switch in certain circumstances I'm not necessarily saying everyone has to go out and buy a uh, couple of hundred bucks worth of MOSFET that's not necessarily the thing let's get started uh, first thing I'm gonna do is put some bushes into this box so I'll get all this MOSFET and everything out of the way and uh, do some measurements. So, the measurements on the actual gearbox housing. Seven point nine millimeters. Make sure I get that. Seven point nine five millimeters on the whole. Uh, okay, so I've got two types of bushings here. Um, the first type. Uh, 8.01 millimeters and the second type 7.97 uh, now so this one's gonna have well neither of them are gonna fit because they're too big but this one's got a better chance so far uh, however, it is 2.86 uh, thick, and this one is 2.49 thick. So this one is actually a slimmer bushing, uh, but this one's got a smaller diameter. Alright, let's check another thing. There's a flange, obviously. And um, the flange is 0.56 of a millimeter on this one, and 1.4 millimeters on this one. So this one's got a much bigger flange. It looks like it's got a bigger diameter flange as well. 9.96. And this one is. Eight point nine eight. I just check the flange holes in the box. Nine point eight one. What was this one again? Hmm. Okay. So this one looks like it's got a better outer diameter of the actual bush but the flange is too large this one looks like it's got a flange that'll fit but the outer diameter of the bush is too large mm, all right uh, I'm gonna try a few things and then we'll see how we go so I'm leaning towards leaning towards these ones uh, at this stage uh, just because of the, the flange and the fact that they're a bit slim. Uh, I know that sometimes these spur gears can be quite wide. 12.9. Uh, I don't know how much space I'm going to have inside the gearbox, so we'll work this out. Uh, what I am going to do, I am just going to heat this box just just the tiniest little bit. Um, I'm going to grab my hot air iron when it's on. I'm just going to heat this box just a little bit. Not too much. I don't want to like. 
I just want to warm it up. It's quite cold down here this morning. I just want to see if this makes any difference. Alright, that's a little bit warm. Not too warm to touch, but a little bit warm. Uh, let's take a measurement. Seven point nine seven, seven point nine six, seven point nine six. So we haven't opened up enough to get one of these bushes in, but maybe if I freeze the bushes and warm up this a bit maybe I might have a chance of getting them in um, which one of it? these ones were smaller weren't they maybe I might have to roll with these these are 7.98 this is 7.95 Point zero two of a millimeter I need. <laughs> uh, fun. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with these a bit and see if I can get them to fit. Obviously, uh, I've got a lot of mucking around to do with heating and cooling and playing around to see if I can get one that'll actually fit without bashing it in there like a Neanderthal. And uh, then we'll move from there. I might even end up ordering another set of of uh, bushes and see if I can get a set that actually fits. Um, I, I understand that these were designed to fit a type of SHS bush. I guess I'm just going to have to trial and error find which one that was. Alright, i got to work quite quickly here because I don't want the gearbox to cool down, I don't want the bearing, the bushes to heat up. Uh, so I'm just going to grab one with my tweezers so I don't heat them with my hand. Without too much effort. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey! Just with finger push. Alright, cool. And one last one. That one's a bit tight. I might have, uh, I might have actually, um, taken a little bit too long to get that last one in because I had to run, run from the fridge to here and uh, these would have warmed up and this would have cooled down, but that is, that is a nice, that is a nice fit. Oh, yes. Yes. So, okay. So a little bit of warmth in the box and a little bit of cooling on the, um, uh, bushes and they seem to just, just pop in with your finger without, uh, having to press them in or bash them in or anything. Um, so that's. That's a good fit. Um, I'm gonna have. I'm probably gonna have to uh, knock that one out and cool it down again or something. Or I wonder if I can just I'll just warm this up a little bit. And I'll see if I can. Uh, just quickly get one of these other ones that's still cool in there. Just bear with me.
Yes, okay. Yes, awesome. All right, cool. Oh, I'm off camera, sorry. <laughs> All right, so they are nicely in there. So it definitely, sorry about the noise of the, um, the uh, hot air gun there. It runs on to cool down a bit. All right, turbo timer. Um, so these bushes, which are the, um, they are SHS, I'm, I'll put a link, I'll put a link down um, to these particular bushes um, so you know which ones are the ones that fit. Uh, I also, for what it's worth, I had another look at the literature that came with the MK box uh, and it does say here, um, bearing sockets are 7.98 millimeter diameter for a tighter fit and obviously when these were CNC'd um, the, the friction of the CNC machine uh, would have heated up the alloy a little bit and that 7.98 when it's cooled down down here where it, it's real cold in my workshop um, they've come down to 7.95 or 7.96 or something so um, yeah, uh, a, a little bit of temperature makes a lot of difference in these uh, precision things. You'd be surprised. All right, so um, bushes are in. I will put the link to those bushes in the description. I'm going to have to call it a night for now, though, because believe it or not, that has taken a long time <laughs> because I had to wait for the bushes to freeze and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I had them in the freezer for a good number of hours. Um, but that's all I got, so don't forget to subscribe so that you can get notifications uh, when I put the next video up to uh, continue on with this gearbox build. It's going to be a bit of an epic journey. I can, I can just see it. I can see it happening now. Um, Alright, thank you guys for bearing with me and uh, bearing. Ha, <laughs> see what I did there. Right. Uh, don't forget to um, hit me up on Facebook or something, Patches. Uh, also, email Vague Strategist on his email, uh, I, Vague Strategist at gmail.com, I think it is, because uh, he's got some new patches as well, and they're pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Peace.